The five-year-old Vigo County girl airlifted to an Indianapolis hospital after a golf cart crash has been released from doctor's care. Mm, that is great news for the family, but still there is a lingering question. Are the parents who allow minor children to drive golf carts breaking the law? News 10's Brent Frazier has more now from Ray Park in Terre Haute. Uh, you know, the golf carts can be a fun recreation tool. They're very quick, they're very simple. They're fun to operate. I mean, it's an open top, uh, you know, unit. Uh, the breeze is blowing through your face. It's the freedom of the open road is one of the draws golf carts offer. But leisurely as they might be, there are still laws attached to the recreational vehicles. Rules of the road, you could say. You know, you would expect that an 11 year old does not know the rules of the road. That govern grown ups in golf carts, but never children. If mom and pop would have been on the golf cart, you and I would not be sitting here today. Cottom says Indiana governs golf cart protocol on a county by county basis. And Vigo County, where the tragic accident occurred, does not allow golf carts on the road like cars and trucks. But even the most liberal law, Cottom says, would never allow golf cart control to fall in the hands of a young girl or boy. When you're talking about an 11 year old and a five year old out on public streets and public roadways, not understanding the laws, uh, traffic flow. Here at Ray Park in Terre Haute, golfers must follow the rules laid out by property owners. Anyone operating a golf cart here must be a licensed driver. Chief Deputy Cottom says according to the law or the Vigo County ordinance, the two sisters were not only traveling down a road they shouldn't have been, but they were far too young to be at the controls, making the parents accountable. Would these parents be criminally charged? I would defer that to the prosecutor's office. Cottom says Child Protective Services was called in to assist in the investigation, but he says that's pretty standard in a case like this one. Once again today, we were turned down by the two sisters' family members whose identities we are withholding. Mike, Patrice? All right, thank you very much, Brent.